Before diving into the question tackled by this video, keep in mind that a 1 in 1015 chance is considered negligible. Depending on the time and history and location in the world, your chances could be slightly different. But these variables hardly change the final calculation due to its massive size. You've heard the comparisons. You're more likely to die in a car accident on the way to buy a lottery ticket than to actually win the lottery. Surely you must call yourself the most unlucky person in the world, but nothing ever goes your way. In fact, the only thing in life that seems to have gone your way is life itself. That's not special, is it? How lucky are we to be alive? Let's start simply. What are the chances your parents met? Over 25 years, someone can expect to meet about 20,000 people, or 10,000 members of the opposite sex. Hence, the chances that your father met your mother are about 1 in 20,000. But just because they even met, doesn't mean it worked out. You talk to about 10% of the people you meet. There's another 10% chance you go on a second date. Another 10% chance that you end up in a serious relationship. Then there's a 50% chance you have children. This comes out to a 1 in 2,000 chance that your father got your mother pregnant. Multiplying this with the probability of two people meeting, the chances of your parents meeting and having kids comes out to 1 in 40 million. That's just over the entire population of Canada. We're not stopping there. Each combination of eggs and sperm can create an entirely different person. What are the chances that your mother gave birth to you? A woman has about 2 million eggs in her lifetime. A man produces about 4 trillion sperm just in his reproductive years. That comes out to about a 1 in 8 quintillion chance of that sperm fertilizing that egg. What about ancestors? You may not have considered that you were part of an incredibly rare, unbroken lineage. Every single one of your ancestors was born under roughly the same one in eight quintillion probability, lived to reproductive age, and exactly the right person, and had exactly the right child with another one in eight quintillion chance. For all of history, not just humans, or homo erectus, or homo habilis, but for the entirety of life on Earth. The probability of winning the lottery is only one in 259 million. We'll use mega millions. You are roughly 31 billion times more likely to win the lottery with every birth of an ancestor. To put it into perspective, the chances of you existing is equal to winning the lottery 31 billion times, give or take, with every generation for the entirety of life on Earth, or 3.8 billion years. It is almost impossible to calculate how many generations there have been since the origin of life, so we'll have to go with the number of generations from the beginning of humanoid life. That's about 125,000 generations. You have figuratively won the lottery 3.9 quadrillion times in a row. What a winning streak. Keep in mind that in reality, this number is much, much larger given the rest of history of life on Earth. Not to worry, this number will not immensely alter our already huge final calculation given how incredibly large it is. After all, the difference between extremely huge and extremely huger is hard to comprehend anyway. The chances of an unbroken lineage are about 1 in 10 to the 37,629th power, or a 10 with 37,625 zeros after it. That number is larger than the number of particles in the universe. If every single particle in the universe was a universe too. We're not done yet. Every single sperm had to meet every single egg 125,000 times. The probability of that happening is at 1 in 10 to the 10 million 112,886th power. But we have to add up all the previously calculated probabilities too. Now the chances of you existing are 1 in 10 to the 10 million 150,522nd power. Think of the biggest number you can. The biggest number with a name and definition is a Google word, 10 to the 100th power, or one followed by 100 zeros. Try to imagine a line of 10 to the 10 millionth, 150,522nd power people. You can't. You can barely conjure up a clear mental image of more than 100. In fact, it's difficult to even clearly imagine over 20. That's the pool of people all competing for that one spot on Earth, that one spot that you have. You were the one person randomly chosen out of a group of 10 to the 10 millionth, 150,522nd power of people, waiting to see whether or not they will ever live and ever have a place in the universe. Some people who win the lottery are not so lucky. In the United States, you have a roughly 18% chance of being aborted. Between 10 and 25% of pregnancies end in miscarriage. There's a 51% chance that you were born into a position where you have internet access there's a 20% chance you were not born into poverty. There is an 85% chance that you don't end up with some kind of disability.
ability. Not only did you somehow manage to experience life, you managed to get yourself a pretty good life too. But what are the chances that any of us ever existed? That's more difficult to calculate as our origins are rather hazy, but we do know that we are lucky to live on planet Earth. Earth falls within 22% of planets in the habitable zone. It's not too hot and not too cold. This allows us to have a water cycle and precipitation. We're located in a good spot in the galaxy. Radiation in the presence of wandering planetoids makes life in the center of the galaxy unlikely at best. Not only that, but Earth's orbit is a circle, not eccentric. This allows for the sun's heat and light to be relatively constant. Earth rotates fast enough to avoid extreme variations in day and night temperatures that would make life difficult for organisms. Our planet is lucky enough to have a molten core that generates a geodynamo, creating a magnetic field that protects us from lethal solar radiation. The sun is the perfect kind of star because it puts out consistent energy. Other kinds of stars fluctuate more severely, making life around them impossible. We have a large enough moon to cause large enough tides, a good breeding ground for life, but not so powerful as to destroy life. We are also guarded by two gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, that, with their higher gravitational pull, catch incoming asteroids and comets that would pose a threat to Earth. And you still can't win the lottery. Not to worry, you are part of an incredible legacy, a legacy of an unbroken lineage. The main idea to take away from it is, well, anything can happen, no matter how unlikely. After all, you happened. Never take your life for granted, and make sure you enjoy the miracle of it all. You are special, more so than you could ever comprehend. And so is everyone else around you. Living beings who never work and have a voice. That might just be what they would tell you.